And of course, we are moving along right to the hot soup of the day. We actually have two cooking for you guys, one from Nigeria and one from Gambia, right? Oh, by the way, if you're just watching us and joining us today, the hot soups are actually hot topics that we collect for you guys from social media or around news or blogs, anywhere from the web. And also sometimes we get the hot soups sent to us. This hot soup though, we got from a Nigerian guy, his name is Chaz. He's a comedian, right? We're trying to get him on here. Hopefully he'll join us at some point soon on this show. And he said, this is what he said. He said, many families are at peace because of a side chick. <laughs> Can you give us the Nigerian accent? That's what he said. I, I, we saw him on the video and he said that. He wrote it and he said it. Please deliver that hot soup in the Nigerian accent, Hilda. A Nigerian said it, not also. <laughs> I beg. <laughs> Wahala not day for the marriage because say the guy gets side chick. <laughs> that brings a whole nother spin to it. And it actually makes sense when, when you said it. Comment below and tell us if you agree with this or not. Now, when I first read it or when I heard it, I was kind of like, uh, but when Hilda just said it and delivered it in that manner, I was like, maybe she is right. If you're watching, let us know what side of the kitchen you're in, if you okay. agree or disagree. I disagree. Maybe Wahala no day for the man because he gets side chick. But Wahala day for me, oh, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you don't agree. <laughs> I know they agree. Unless if there's a side husband, yeah, then you can say a side chick, right? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Did Ole just right. say a side husband? <laughs> Yeah, because you said a side chick. You're married and you're telling me a side chick will make the relationship not it's have cool. issues. Yeah, so I'm saying, well, and you know that's not going to happen, right? So as long as the man agrees to a side husband, then good. You could go ahead with a side chick. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> I think Oleg just dropped the soup. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Hilda? Is, is it... Oh. Even though I delivered it in uh, pidgin English, I do not believe that one bit. I disagree completely. <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't make anything better. Okay, can, can I come in here and be the devil's advocate? And please don't come for me. I'm always on the other side of the kitchen. This is sad. I, do you guys see where he's coming from though? I kind of see it. No, we don't. Okay, you just ho hold you on. Ho what's, ho ho you got, what's, hold go on. what's good for the goose, it's good for the gamba. Okay. okay, but but hear me out, hear me out, right? This is what he's saying. He's saying, and if you're watching, continue to comment, let us know what you think. This is what I can make sense of what Chas said, right? If he's not happy at home, and then I'm not even you can't believing even in my it. own BS, <laughs> but this is what he's saying. If he's unhappy at home and he happens to find a side chick, he wants to keep his family. He wants to make sure he doesn't get a divorce. He wants to make sure the kids are happy, blah, blah, blah. The house is kept as a home, right? So if he can find some kind of happiness with the side chick, then he's able to make peace with the wife at home and not break up and not... <laughs> no? Exactly, exactly, because that's you why I say it. he's being selfish. He's forgetting about his loved one, his wife, okay? And how do you think doing that is not going to bring chaos in the relationship at home? With the kids seeing all that and what else is going to transpire? What are you trying to teach these kids? But, to, you, but do you know that, but do you know that, I'm not agreeing to it and I will not accept it, but I'm just saying, do you know that there are a lot of women that actually know that their husbands have side chicks or girlfriends and they still stay? Hilda, am I correct or am I wrong? You are very correct. There are a lot of women who agree to that because they don't want their homes to break up. Um, but personally, I feel like whatever you can achieve, whatever happiness you can achieve with the other woman, you can equally achieve with your wife. It's just a matter of putting in the effort ah, to achieve that. Okay, happiness. I agree with you there. No, you're, look at Ole. I, I wish Amy was here now because you're all too conservative. Okay, what do you say? Oh. <laughs> Okay, right? So you, you have obviously conservative uh, Dr. J here and then Hilda is married and of course Ole is married. So they'll never see the other side of the kitchen. No, mm -hmm. it's not being conservative, right? As, as women, if you treat yourself as a nickel, that's how the guy is gonna treat you. We are queens. If you treat yourself as a queen, the guy is gonna treat you as a queen, which we are. Like if the guy is not gonna be accepting a side husband, why, would I, why should I accept side chick? You get a side chick, 
let's get a side husband. It's equal opportunity. But see, see, that's the thing. Okay, so let's take it to another level. All right. Let me just make a disclaimer. I do not agree. Okay, I'm just saying. Almost very far-fetched for a woman to have an affair when you're in a marriage, but then men are accepted to kind of do it. And when women do it, it's like, oh, that's the devil. Yeah, because it's like society, right? And that was standard, it's selfish, right? It's like, we, we, the guy has feelings, women have feelings, like we all get hot. So why should it be good for one and then not good for the other? All right. <laughs> no side chick. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys heard that? No side chick. Uh, well, go ahead and comment. Obviously, let us know what side of the kitchen you're in. I'm sure most women are going to say hell to the devil, and we agree. I don't know what the brothers will say. Brothers, we want to hear from you guys. If you have a side chick, does it actually help you to hold on to that marriage in the house to keep it going, or does it make it worse? Or I mean, I'm hoping you guys yeah. will say make it work worse, right? But let us know what you think. You can. I want to know what the side chick will feel be knowing that she's just a side chick because to me that's almost like an insult if i know i'm just a side chick for you to keep your excitement going but then you run back to your family what do i want what am i trying to build up for this relationship i think there's a psychological issue going on with the side chick and the woman that's accepted we yes. should not lower our standards in society as a woman being a queen to accept whatever comes your way just because you want a relationship that does not even exist i think the only so, winner here is the crown. guy <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the only, let's put this on the crown. Remember the one from, um, I think that's the crown statement actually. When the women do that, do you guys think that? When a lot of African women, when they put the water to, or the market thing, is that the crown or not really? That could be a sign of the crown. Can you guys let us know? No? That is that's a sign of the crown. crown. <laughs> that's a sign of hard work, okay? And that's the crown. No, they should, they should be sitting at home, somebody else carrying that thing, like a man carrying it in their head. Oh, That's okay. All right. <laughs> but, but hopefully the guys are commenting to let us know. But I think uh, on a serious note, I think the only winner here is actually the guy. But I don't even think he's a winner. He's actually... Even the guy is a loser. Because he's a he loser. has a... He, even everyone... No no one in this relationship is going to be a winner. Winner. That's At the true. end of the day, you're going to hurt someone else's feeling. You're hurting your feelings. Because when you get connected to this lady, and then finally that side chick wakes up and realizes she has an issue going on and she breaks it up and goes and marries up, then where are you? Just like um, your, you think you, there are problems in your home and um, you want a side chick to help and give you some form of happiness, just know that no one is perfect. So you are actually compounding your problems, just like compound interest. Whatever you have now, you're compounding it. Even if you are getting some happiness, you're also compounding your problems. I think a lot of guys don't think about is the fact when you have the side chick, it's like, okay, you go on your rendezvous, it's all exciting, right? You're not dealing with reality yet. You're not dealing with the real issues of life. So it's exciting, right? But the moment you break up with your wife, and you deal with the side chick, you're gonna have the same issues that you didn't face with your wife with the side chick. So yep. just remember that it's just an excitement because she's the side piece. But the moment you face reality and the wife is out of your life, you will have the same life problems that you didn't deal with with your wife. So you might as well deal with, you, with your wife, like she said, Hilda, and fix it to move on. All right, that note, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next hot soup and we'll allow you to solve it on that hustle that we just delivered to you guys. Guys, guys, exactly guys. <laughs> Whoop.